Have you ever thought about migrating to Canada through the Nova Scotia PNP program? If not, it's high time you did. The Nova Scotia Provincial Nominee Program, or PNP, is a fast-track immigration pathway designed for individuals who are eager to make Canada their new home. This program not only offers a quicker processing time compared to other immigration programs, but it also provides the golden opportunity to reside in the beautiful province of Nova Scotia. Known for its stunning coastlines and vibrant cultural scene, Nova Scotia is an enchanting place that promises a high quality of life. By choosing the Nova Scotia PNP program, you're choosing a life filled with incredible opportunities, breathtaking landscapes, and a welcoming community. So, if you're dreaming of a life in Canada, the Nova Scotia PNP program might just be your ticket to that dream. Intrigued? Stick around as we break it all down. What exactly is the Nova Scotia PNP program? Well, let's get into the basics. The Nova Scotia Provincial Nominee Program, or PNP, is a pathway for prospective immigrants who have the skills and experience targeted by the province of Nova Scotia to gain permanent residency in Canada. This province-specific program is part of a larger Canadian immigration framework designed to address specific labour market needs within Nova Scotia. The program is divided into various streams, each catering to a different group of potential immigrants. Two of the most popular streams are the Nova Scotia Demand, Express Entry and the Nova Scotia Experience, Express Entry. The Nova Scotia Demand, Express Entry stream is for highly skilled individuals who want to live in Nova Scotia permanently. These individuals are selected from the Federal Express Entry System, which ranks candidates based on factors such as education, work experience, age and language proficiency. To qualify, individuals must have at least one year of skilled work experience in one of the province's in-demand occupations, among other criteria. On the other hand, the Nova Scotia Experience Express Entry Stream is for skilled individuals who have already worked in Nova Scotia for at least one year. Candidates for this stream are also selected from the Federal Express Entry System, but the focus here is on candidates' experience in the Nova Scotia labor market. What's fascinating about these streams is that they are both aligned with Canada's Federal Express Entry System. This means that successful candidates receive an additional 600 points towards their Comprehensive Ranking System score, greatly increasing their chances of receiving an invitation to apply for Canadian permanent residence. Remember, these are just two of the many streams under the Nova Scotia PNP program. Other streams cater to entrepreneurs, international graduates, healthcare professionals, and more. Each stream has its own set of requirements, which we'll delve into next. What are the requirements for the Nova Scotia Demand Express Entry Stream? Now let's delve into the details. The first requirement is work experience. For the Express Entry Stream, you need to have at least one year of full-time or equivalent part-time paid work experience in the last six years. This experience must be in a profession that falls under the National Occupational Classification Levels 0, A or B. Next, we have language ability. Proficiency in English or French is crucial. You'll need to take a language test approved by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada and score at least a Canadian language benchmark 7 in all four abilities – reading, writing, listening and speaking. Education is another important factor. You must have a Canadian high school diploma or its equivalent from another country. If your education was completed outside of Canada, you'll need an Educational Credential Assessment Report from an agency approved by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. And finally, you must demonstrate that you have enough financial resources to successfully settle in Nova Scotia. The exact amount depends on the size of your family and is determined by the federal government. Now, it's important to remember that these are just the minimum requirements. Applicants are also scored based on these factors. This score determines your rank within the express entry pool. The higher your score, the higher your chances of receiving an invitation to apply. Scoring is based on criteria such as age, education, language ability, work experience, and whether you have a job offer in Nova Scotia. Each of these factors carries a different weight in the scoring system. For instance, younger candidates or those with higher education and language proficiency tend to score higher. 
It's not just about meeting these requirements, but also about scoring well. The Nova Scotia Demand Express Entry Stream is a competitive program and only the best candidates are invited to apply. So ensure you understand the scoring system and do your best to maximize your points. After all, it's not just about crossing the threshold, but also about standing out from the crowd. What about the Nova Scotia Experience Express Entry Stream? I hear you ask. This stream is designed particularly for individuals who are already living and working in Nova Scotia. Let's delve into the specifics of what this stream entails. First and foremost, the key requirement for the Nova Scotia Experience. Express Entry Stream is having at least one year of full-time or equivalent part-time work experience in Nova Scotia. This experience must be in a National Occupational Classification NOC, Skill Type 0 or Skill Level A or B occupation. This work experience is crucial as it demonstrates your ability to adapt and thrive in the local work environment. Next, we have the language ability requirement. Proficiency in English or French is crucial to navigating life in Nova Scotia. To prove your language proficiency, you'll need to take a recognized language test. For English, these could be the ILTS or CELL PIP tests. For French, the TEF Canada or TCF Canada. The test results must not be more than two years old at the time of application. Then, we have the education requirement. At a minimum, you must have a Canadian secondary, high school, or post-secondary certificate, diploma, or degree, or an equivalent foreign credential. If your education was obtained outside of Canada, you'll need to have your credentials assessed by a recognized organization. Finally, let's not forget that you must be between the ages of 18 and 55, and intend to live in Nova Scotia permanently. So in essence, the Nova Scotia experience, Express Entry Stream is a pathway designed for those who have already established a connection with Nova Scotia through work experience. It's a way to transition from being temporary workers to permanent residents, allowing them to continue contributing to the Nova Scotia community. So whether you're already in Nova Scotia or looking to move there, there's a stream for you. This stream is just one of the many immigration pathways that Nova Scotia offers, each designed to meet the diverse needs of prospective immigrants. Now that you understand the requirements, how do you apply? Well, let's dive right in. The application process for the Nova Scotia PNP program can be broken down into five main steps. The first step is to create an express entry profile. This is an online form that details your skills, work experience, language ability, education, and other personal information. It's like your digital resume. And just like a resume, it's important to be precise and truthful. The second step is to enter the Nova Scotia PNP program pool. You do this by expressing an interest in Nova Scotia when you fill out your express entry profile. This is like sending your resume to a specific employer. You're signaling your intention to immigrate to Nova Scotia specifically. The third step is to wait for an invitation to apply. This is a bit like waiting for a job interview. If your skills and experience match what Nova Scotia needs, you'll be invited to apply. The province regularly draws candidates from the express entry pool, so keep an eye on your inbox. The fourth step is to apply for the Nova Scotia PNP program. This is where you'll provide more detailed information and documentation to prove your qualifications. It's like going through a job interview, thorough and meticulous. The final step is to wait for a decision. Just like after a job interview, there's a period of waiting while your application is reviewed. If it's accepted, you'll receive a provincial nomination, which you can then use to apply for permanent residency. Throughout the process, remember to be patient. It can take some time to receive the provincial nomination and even more time to actually become a permanent resident. But don't worry, your patience will pay off in the end. In the meantime, keep improving your skills, learning about Nova Scotia, and dreaming about your new life there. Even though it might seem like a long process, it's all worth it for the opportunity to live and work in this beautiful province. Remember, patience is key. The process can take some time. Let's wrap up what we've learned about the Nova Scotia PNP program. We started off with an introduction, where we learned about this unique program that offers skilled individuals a pathway to Canadian permanent residency. Moving on, we explored the basics of the PNP program, understanding its purpose and benefits. Next, we delved into the express entry requirements. 
discussing eligibility and the process of creating a profile. We took a closer look at the criteria, emphasizing the importance of skills, work experience, and language proficiency. Then, we navigated the application process, highlighting the steps involved from preparing your documents to submitting your application. We also noted the need for patience, as processing times can vary. Throughout this journey, we've gained a comprehensive understanding of the Nova Scotia PNP program. With the right preparation and understanding, your dream of living in Nova Scotia could be a reality. Thanks for watching.